how you doing gamers we are talking about avengers endgame and whew, that was uh that was quite a movie i gotta grant you that all right now one of the things i was thinking about when i walked out of the theater was hey i do youtube movie reviews so how the hell am i going to talk about this now, I decided to do two videos. I was going to do a non-spoiler review, which you are watching right now, and I'm going to do a second spoiler review. And I haven't decided on quite the format. So look, stick around to the end of this video. I'm going to give you a chance to vote on which way you want to see me approach it. So with that said, what's all this about uh, Avengers Endgame? Let's talk about it for a second. Now, yeah, like I said, non-spoiler, I'm going to do my best to spend three to five minutes telling you uh, what I thought about the film without giving too much away. And it's really great. Uh, I enjoyed it. I feel like they really did stick the landing when it comes to uh, the first three phases of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I think people are starting to call it the Infinity Saga, which is fair. Uh, I think uh, a lot of it uh, revolved around uh, the quest... Uh, of the Infinity Gems. So, okay, yeah. Um, there's a lot of... It's amazing to me how much is able to be used and how many characters are utilized in this story. It's astounding. I remember when I watched the first Avengers film and... There's those sequences at, late in the film after Loki escapes from S.H.I.E.L.D. and we see the Avengers getting back together. I remember thinking, I can't believe I'm watching this on film. I'm actually seeing the Marvel Universe on film. And now we're to this point. Now we're to what is the huge climax of this movie. And once again, I'm just stunned of how much they're able to take this and take the 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 tropes the the, the story techniques uh, all the different uh, genre blending that superheroes the Marvel and DC universes do and I'm seeing them put them in film ridiculously uh, ridiculously uh, easy uh, there is so many different genres in this movie it's one of the reasons why I love superhero comics in the first place. Um, because if you don't like the genre, stick around. It's going to change because, you know, we have like, you know, super superheroes and uh, sci-fi, monsters, horror, uh, crime bosses, aliens, uh, like monsters. Uh, it's just, it, it's amazing and how well it all sticks together. And that is because of the characters and the story and the Russo brothers really do understand that it's the heart, the emotion of the story, the characters, they'll guide you through, you know, whatever crazy crap we're going through. And, you know, even if things here and there may not make, you know, technical sense, if you really, like, dig too deep into it. To be honest, for people who do that, hey, you do what you do. But I feel like that kind of, like, ruins the whole movie-going experience, really. So, um... Yeah, a lot of characters, I feel like, have really good uh, story arcs and send-offs in this one. We see a number of what I think are uh, tributes. I don't know if I'm going to put it as tributes, but acknowledgments of the past 10 years of the cinematic uh, universe. Because this isn't only really a celebration of uh, the Marvel Universe as a whole, but also the, the film universe specifically. And it's doing little payoffs to moments we've seen in the movies. And I, it does it in such a story-grounded method where they don't feel too gratuitous um, while at the same time you feel kind of rewarded. Uh, it's wonderful. And I just, you know, I get the movie got me emotional several times throughout the movie. Um, it does have a three-hour run period and, oh boy, it just kind of blows by even with that extended... Um, with a fairly extended epilogue, I think. Um, but even that didn't feel... I mean, I just... It could have kept going. I could have, like... I could have enjoyed maybe 20 more minutes of the movie, really. Um, let's see. Uh, there's a whole bunch... I mean, like I said, the main characters are well used. The secondary characters. 
uh, are great as well. Um, I suppose that includes like uh, Captain Marvel is probably maybe one of the first of the secondary characters. She's in it uh, just about the right amount of time that she needed to be. And she's extremely well used, uh, not to mention all the characters um, surrounding them. I, I really, I don't want to take too much to, I don't want to talk too much uh, about uh, what, what goes on. Because I want you to experience this film in and of itself. And what I'm really grateful is watching the promotions and trailers for this movie. Because let's say you've been skipping them. If you watch the movie after skipping trailers, go back and watch these trailers. It is stunning how little they give, how much they held to the chest. And I, I think that speaks to the confidence of this franchise. That, like, look, we know you're going to see it. We don't have to blow our load right and all in these trailers. We don't have to do that. Why do we need to do that? It's, it's extremely smart. It, it definitely shows the producers of these films and the marketers of these films understand and like they don't need to go the extra mile and blow things for people because they don't need to and it's great and i'm so happy there are several moments in this movie that caught me off guard and surprised me and i was really excited to have those moments and i watched all of these trailers and yeah didn't even show signs of these things that happen uh i feel like the pacing is really good it does have a nice natural build we come from a really somber place for quite a while in the, uh, the first quarter of the movie, uh, which is understandable because, you know, the, the, the last movie ends on such a horrible note. Uh, so it's, it builds effectively from that, uh, gets to kind of this crazy adventure uh, plot in the middle, and then boom, all oh, hell breaks loose at the end. So really excellent storytelling. I'm extremely proud to be a Marvel fan and fan of superheroes and comic books and, and movies. It's, this was exciting and I uh, really enjoyed it. Um, I'll talk more in depth about uh, this film in more of a spoiler tone and I'll do that next week. Uh, so here, I want you to do this. Uh, I'm going to do a little poll here. You can mention in the comments below or uh, go on my Twitter at the Romanos and I'll uh, pin a poll uh, for you, you to decide which way you want to see me talk about this. Uh, I'm going to do it one of two ways. I'm going to either do maybe a live spoiler cast where it's just me talking about my uh, thoughts on the film and I'll be, you know, taking questions uh, from viewers that way. Or I can do a recorded spoiler cast with a, another YouTuber, you know, one of the buddies that I have that uh, I do videos with. Uh, so you let me know and uh, I'll do it that way. I promise, because we're friends, right? Okay, good. All right, uh, I think that's my thoughts. Go see the movie if you haven't already, and enjoy. So until next time, push the button, Lindsay. Uh, uh.